The bounty of kosher breakfast in Miami is a lot. There's like a million. Today we get to experience a million and one, featuring the full breakfast spread Israeli style. Hadekel. What does Hadekel mean? You ever hear the name Dikla? Yes. It's one of my favorite names. It's a beautiful name. Yes. Dikla Hadekel, the palm tree. You sit under the shade and you eat a magnificent. Middle Eastern spread, cultural Israeli heritage and influence on display. Uh, it is well known. When visiting the country, the best thing at a hotel is an Israeli breakfast. Dairy options, eggs, cheeses, pureed veggies. And even better, there's also the egg component for which we chose shakshuka. You love to shakshuka it up? I shak it up. Stewed spicy tomato, pepper, sauce, eggs. It is the Middle Eastern version of, uh, what would you say, uh, a huevos rancheros, right? And you can mix and match. So I'm just gonna like eat some of this. A perspective that I always enjoy is when you go to a place and you try the simple thing. So the tomato and garlic and oil and spicy is the base to like how I eat any of these breakfasts. It all gets dipped in that. Simple, done correctly, so pure end. Fresh. If that's on point, the rest of your meal is always on point. This is called labnes. We love labnes. It's a fermented culture, so imagine like a yogurt sour cream. Uh, what kind of yogurt sour cream? Kefir. So he can't even get his own lines right. Okay, fresh. Imagine this is your creamy, brighty yogurty. The hints and the flashes and the extra little kibosh here, so important to the style of eating. There's an acidity that's provided and that wraps everything else that you're eating. Mix and match, do it savory, go nuts. It's called the Saruf. It is the Doritos fire version of an Israeli vegetarian lunch pita sandwich. It has the eggplant as the protein, it has the hummus, but it has extra fire, has extra pepper, and has extra pizzazz. That just kind of that extra zing and zang that is provided by that extra spicy. This is really more Judd's department. I'll have after you. Uh, <laughs> it has a bunch of roasty flavors in there. We always talk about that flavor of char. There's a wonderful, wonderful sweet onion in there. There's a wonderful, wonderful burnt on the on the on the pepper. This means so. This means like flame it on. Sabik is the eggplant as the meats. It's the egg as the funk and other protein. It's the amba, and it's the tahina. Sabich, you should know it. Fantastic example for helping Judd eat his vegetables by deep frying them. Sabich means morning. This is your morning sandwich. It's got the egg in it. It's officially an egg sandwich. It gets tined up a notch by that fabulous, fabulous meaty kind of eggplant. And amba is always the key. This is a Ziva. A Ziva is that wonderful, like, kind of gas station working man hybrid quick fix. It's a mix of that flaky dough rolled in spun cheese and whatever you want in it. Uh, always with the fresh crushed tomato. And this is one of my favorite things to eat whenever I see it on the menu. I'm actually going to use a fork display. And I, I'm so like. <laughs> Right? And what's really, what I'm really digging about this, hey, this one has spinach in it. All right, I'm gonna dip and spicy and cheese. I find such delight in the creaminess of their, I guess it's kind of like a, like a, like a feta and ricotta. Ricotta, yeah, good job. See, that's why I bring them along. Yeah, it's delicious, you need to try that. The best of all worlds right there. I hope the audience understands. Um, I love my desserts jiggly just like Judd. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. This is called Malabi. Malabi is like all those kind of like creamy desserts, but it's Middle Eastern, so the jiggle is different. And the flavors are rosy, like grandma, but delicious and sweet. This is a fantastic jiggle, a fantastic breakfast dessert at a fantastic Israeli breakfast joint somewhere in Florida. What's this place called? Hadeco. In? North Miami Beach. Florida.